This video shows you how to use the REST API for virtual storage software block fundamental provisioning. Before using the REST API for virtual storage software block operations, it is important to understand the request URL format. The protocol is HTTPS. The host name is the virtual IP address of the REST server. The port number is 443. This is optional. You will need to specify each API specific path to identify the operation being performed. Now let's go through the virtual storage block operations that you can perform such as registering a server, creating a volume, attaching a volume to a server, and expanding a volume. Follow these steps to register the server information. First, run the REST API command. Next, verify the job ID, which is displayed after you run the command. Then, verify the state of the job. When the job state is listed as succeeded, the job is complete. To create volumes, you must know the pool ID of the virtual storage software block pool in which you would like to create the volume. First, create the volumes using the REST API command. Then, verify the job ID, which is displayed after you run the command, and verify the state of the job. In this demo, we will show creation of only one volume, but you can create up to 1,000 volumes with the Create Volume REST API command. Next, let's attach the volume to a server. First, register the server iSCSI initiator information. Then, add the path information to the server. Next, set up a path between the specified volume and the server. Finally, run the REST API command to expand the capacity of the volume after it is attached to the server. Each of these provisioning operations are asynchronous, where the REST server responds to the REST client request with the command acceptance and a job ID. After the command is complete, the job status is updated. The REST API client checks the task completion status by issuing another API command using the job ID. For more information on Hitachi Virtual Storage Software Block using REST API, visit knowledge.hitachivantara.com.